Today I'm trying on a full face of influencer beauty brands. There are some really big misses and a very, very surprising hit, you guys. Like, I am so picky about this particular category of product. I'm not gonna give it away, but we found a true gem in today's video. Before we dive in, if your makeup routine is your favorite ritual, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm here every week sharing my beauty habit with you. Let's dive in. First up, we're gonna try the Huda Beauty Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint. I got the shade Fair. It honestly looks quite pink in the bottle, so I'm a little bit like nervous. Looks a little bit more like bisque than I tend to like. I run pretty neutral, so when things are too far to like the pinky side, they kind of make me look salmon. And I'm literally wearing like a salmon pink shirt, so this could go really badly really quickly. <laughs> I did pick up the Glowish brush from Huda Beauty as well, so I'm gonna use that. Very, very nervous about this. I've seen good things and really bad things. I've not seen anything really in between on this skin tint, so I will say like this brush, I picked up barely anything and it got super wet super fast and like the bristles are kind of sticking together. I mean, I trust them considering that they made this brush for their product, but it's already losing hairs. You guys, this is what I fear when I do a full face of first impressions. You guys, this color is really not great for me. I don't hate this yet. Probably gonna get there. It's very glowy, that's for sure. The color is really just kind of throwing me off. I get it's a skin tint, so yeah, we're looking at like light coverage. And it looks to me that what it kind of does is basically like illuminate and diffuse light to kind of smooth that way, which doesn't always work for those of us who have textured skin like I do. If your skin's very dry, you know what that life is like. I just cannot get over how instantly salmony this looks on me. I look like a bagel with locks. Doesn't smell great either, that's for sure. I really don't like this, you guys. I'm sure this is a really lovely product if your skin is super flawlessly smooth, has no texture to it, no enlarged pores. This might look really lovely and would definitely make you look like glowy and glazed and ready for Instagram, but not doing it for me. Yeah, this is not a horrible product. This is not something that would work for me. It just doesn't have enough of like the right color pigment to match my skin to actually smooth me out. Instead, it just kind of like when the light catches me, I see texture like accentuated rather than blurred. I'm not gonna give this a second chance to be honest. I just like it didn't do anything for me to want to give it a second chance. So this is gonna be given away to one of like my younger cousins that are like 14, 15, very fair, but pinky fair. They'll like this. They have very smooth faces. This is right up their alley and the brush can go with it because it didn't really do anything special either. I am so glad I actually meant to use this Auric Glow Lust in the new Morganite shade. This is Samantha Ravendahl's brand. I meant to use this first. I'm so glad I didn't because this would have just been accentuated texture on accentuated texture because this is a very glowy product. I do want to try this one day. I think it looks so beautiful. I've been dying to get my hands on it and I happened to be on Instagram right when she reformulated so it kind of worked out. Let's check this out. That's a really nice shade. You know things can't get much worse at this point so let's just go ahead and put some on the high points of my cheeks. Honestly I really can't tell. I can tell the shade match is good for me but I can't tell what the texture is going to look like because obviously I'm just putting it right on top of that crazy awful Huda Booty. Huda Beauty. I always say it. Putting it right on top of that awful base. So kind of bummed that I forgot to put this on first, but actually kind of glad now because we're already very shiny. I literally feel like a porpoise. We are going to try to salvage this somehow, but first we're going to try the next product that I'm very, very nervous about. This is the One Size Concealer. This is from Patrick Starr's brand, and I am so nervous. This is their Turn Up the Base Butter Silk Concealer. I got the lightest shade, Fair One. I am under no illusion that I am Patrick Starr's like target demographic. I understand that I'm not, <laughs> but I was just really interested to try this because I haven't 
try anything from his brand. I don't hate the packaging. I think it's actually kind of pretty cool. I like that accent of like foil red. I think that's pretty neat. I have a nice doe foot applicator. Okay. I like that it's a little bit liquidy because that means it's not gonna immediately feel drying. I have very dry under eyes, so I'm very super particular with concealers. There are very few concealers I actually end up liking. This is super full coverage. You can see how that like blended so far. It has really good coverage. So I like the amount of coverage I'm getting. It feels very bright under there. I could have used much less and I don't feel like I used a ton. I like this, I think. It feels really comfortable. The coverage is good. It's brightening. I'm not unhappy with this. And that's saying a lot because my under eyes have been going through it lately. Look how much this moves. And by moves, I mean like how much it spreads out and still covers. Like that's impressive. I think this is actually a good concealer. I obviously don't know how it wears yet. I'll definitely include it in the speed reviews later on just to let you know how it ends up wearing. But first impression is it's not accentuating texture, not accentuating dryness. It feels very comfortable, very light, and that coverage is really good. Wow, I should have just done my entire face in this. All right, we're gonna fix the rest of my base before we move on because I'm not gonna be able to properly judge anything unless I fix my base. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, my Holy Grail, just take a little bit of it to just give my face a nice enough finish where I don't look so odd because honestly, like look how off this shade matches. Like this is making me, especially around here, look so salmon-y and it's actually, I think, even oxidizing a little bit and starting to just look even darker than it did to begin with. And I've only had it on for six minutes, so not a good sign. This makeup is definitely not gonna last me all the way through the day because since the color matches off and it's already oxidizing, it's pretty much going to possibly even turn my luminous silk. The good thing is I don't have any plans today, so no worries. I never make plans for days where I do first impressions videos because nine times out of 10, at least one product is really bad. <laughs> Again, like I said, I've seen really mixed reviews on that glow tint from Huda Beauty. Some people really like it and a lot of people feel the way that I have turned out to feel about it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer and just conceal around the mouth where it kind of was really obvious how much it was oxidizing. And I've definitely just put too much on because like I said, this is super full coverage and it spread like crazy. So I kind of made a mistake here, but that's okay. It happens to everybody. I'm also gonna lighten up the center of my face. Apparently we're going full coverage today, which is not, not my normal, but we kind of were left with no choice. Wow, that concealer has really impressed me, you guys. Like how nicely that looks and the coverage of that, like that's a nice concealer. And you can go in with just a little bit, I think. This is something you could build up. I hope that it wears really well because I really like the way that it looks. I'm just gonna set that under eye concealer with a little bit of translucent powder and also set my eyes. I'm gonna do my eyes next. I'm gonna be using the Magic Hour Divine Skies palette from M Cosmetics. That's Michelle Fawn's brand. I picked this up because when I did my full face of M Cosmetics, several of you mentioned that you really liked this palette and it looked really nice and I don't know why I had never purchased it. So I decided to go ahead and get it. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and go into Magic Hour. I'm gonna put that all up into the crease. I'm gonna pull it up pretty far and this is basically gonna be like my blendy shade. mistaken this shade is actually called sunset and then this one right here is Tara over here we had the shade Phoenix which is the one I'm gonna take next I'm gonna use that as like my crease shade Ooh, I don't really think I own a palette exactly like this these are definitely like magic hour shades very very pretty they blend really nicely it's a good, easy to use formula. I like formulas that are easy to use, don't require like a lot of like specialized knowledge. Like you don't have to have like a cheat code to figure it out. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm gonna take Magic Hour, which is this one. And I'm going to just take that on a flat shader brush and go along like the inside of the mobile lid and the outside, leaving the middle kind of like open. And for the middle, I'm gonna take the shade Heavenly right here, like a nice champagne shade. I'm gonna take a short smudgy brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Terra and I'm gonna use that to just smudge along my lash line upper and lower. I love Michelle Phan's shades, but I always feel like before I get like my blush and my bronze around with them, they always make my eyes look a little bit red. It's kind of weird how that happens. For brows, I'm finally going to try the shaping wax from Patrick Ta. I got the brush that goes with it. It's just like a clean spoolie one and then an angled brow liner brush. So I'm gonna take this in here, go back and forth a few times. I've got a little bit on, let's see. I've never done this before. Is this like what soap brows was? Oh, I like how this is holding my brows up. I will say that I see like a little bit of flaky pieces of the wax, but I think I might have used a little bit too much. So that could be like a little bit of user error. I do notice that it's actually holding the brows up, which is kind of really cool. A lot of products don't actually hold the brows up. They just kind of you brush it through and then they go right back down. So that's kind of neat and I like the way my brows look. So you go Patrick Ta. For cheeks, for blush, I'm gonna try the new M Cosmetics So Soft Blush Sticks. I got the shade Passion, which is like super orangey. Terracotta would be great for fall. I don't think it's gonna work with this look in particular. I also got the shade Bitten, which is probably gonna be a little bit better. These are very pigmented, okay? I'm very nervous. All right, I think I'm gonna try try fingers first. I mean, this is like pigmented like a lipstick. Let's just go for it, Ashley. Oh, the stress of this is overwhelming. I don't love this. Oh, let's try a sponge. I have to tell you that it's very rare for me to love things the first time I try them. Often I like things, but a lot of times the first time I try things, I don't necessarily always get the application right. So I do try most things at least twice, but some things like the Huda Beauty, that skin tint we just tried, I can tell it's not an application thing. It's just, it doesn't work for me. This is looking better than I thought. I do have to keep in mind the fact that I literally have on a base that I don't like and then another base. So I may not get out of a cream product the exact performance that I would like to get because I do have on two layers of base. Maybe I should have tried. No, I don't think I could have gone with that. Like, let's put a touch in this and just see, just to like add a little bit of warmth and orange to it. I don't know, kind of go off of that. Like maybe just do like a kind of like a double cream blush. Just putting this right here on the highest points of my cheek. I'm gonna see if I like that color better. Ooh, I actually like the way that this works. Doing both of these like that little bit of the orange actually looks really nice. I feel like it looks more balanced now with the eye. I mean, I still look like I have clown cheeks a little bit, but once we get like powdered and some bronzer on, it's not gonna look bad. Okay, I'm actually a fan of that. I think I might end up really liking this one when I try it on its own. It just looked really intimidating. To be honest, they both look intimidating because they're so pigmented, but I think there's nothing to fear. All right, now I'm going to powder my face. I don't have like a new powder to try. I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm gonna powder everything very lightly. I powder very, very lightly, even in the summer because I am so dry and I don't ever I wanna look matted down. <laughs> and then for bronzer, okay, this is another product from Huda Beauty, but a couple of you recommended this bronzer to me, so I'm really, really excited to try it. It is the Glow Wish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. I got the shade 01 Light. I'm really excited to try this. Shade match is good. This is a good bronzer for fair skin. I don't feel orangey. I feel like it has the right amount of like neutral to it, but still warming the face up. It's going on really nicely. It's not overly pigmented. It's not catching on anything. It's applying smoothly. Hmm. I feel like that kind of pulled stuff together too. So I don't feel like I hate my makeup right now. <laughs> 
it's really nice. I still feel so glowy. It makes me wonder if I even want to try highlighter. I have a couple different highlighters, all from Jaclyn Cosmetics, Jaclyn Hills brand. So first I have the Accent Light, and this is her iced highlighter. And then this was from her summer collection. This was the Lightning Liquid Highlighting Drops. I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna put any more like liquid stuff on, so I'm gonna skip using this. Oh, you know what I have is her Mood Light Powder. I'm gonna try a little bit of this highlighter, the Brighten Up. I'm just curious. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I'm gonna use just like the tiniest little bit of this. She describes these as being similar to the Lancome Absolute Powders, which I really like and I bought specifically because she suggested them many years ago. So, I mean, I remember watching Jaclyn Hill like back in the day. Oh, okay, this is not like nearly as shiny as I thought it was gonna be coming from her, but it does have like a good lip from within color. It doesn't look ridiculous. I don't think it's quite as brightening as the Lancome Absolute Powders. It's very interesting because it does look glowy, but it's not, it's not like shiny. It's just like a very soft radiance. I'm really impressed with this. I've never actually tried something exactly like this. Like as I turn, I have radiance there, but it actually tamped down the like ridiculous glow that I had coming through from that super glowy base with the auric glow lust over it. Like it actually kind of tamped that down and made it look softer. Wow, leave it to Jaclyn Hill to save the day. I did not see that plot twist coming. I forgot, I also had gotten this contour bronzer stick from M Cosmetics. This is the shade Terra. And I meant to try this, but I didn't. But I will say that looking at the shade, I think this is a good, good contour shade. Maybe I could try to use a little bit of it just to contour. I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit on a Real Techniques brush and just try to like contour a little bit just to give my face a little more structure since, I mean, we've already piled this much makeup on, why not? I just wanna see if this shade match is good and gives like a good shadow because it looks very similar to my Westman Atelier face trace and Biscuit, which is my my baby. Yeah, that's a good contour shade. So if you were thinking about getting anything from the Michelle Fawn from her new launch, she just had launched these So Soft cream sticks. If you're around my shade, I would try Tara. Thank you to Buffalo Beauty Boy Ted. If you guys don't know who Ted is, I will link him down below. He's an adorable angel baby and I adore him. He's my Instagram friend. <laughs> Literally, you know how like sometimes you have like influencers and you're like, oh wow, well, I follow them because I want to be their friend. Like I feel that way about Ted. Like I follow him because I, I want to be his friend. When we saw these come out, I asked him what shade he thought I should get and he said Tara and he was right. It is really lovely. This is definitely like shadow shade. Really nice formula. It went on top of all of that other makeup. Doesn't look patchy or weird or anything. Just looks like a nice shadow. So shout out to M Cosmetics for that one. All right, let's get something on my lips before I go nuts. Lots of options from M Cosmetics. I got a bunch of their like true glosses and soft lip colors. I got Faded Clementine, Ash Rose, which I feel like I wanna try on. This is the True Gloss and Ash Rose. Magic Hour, the one that would literally match, but I like to make things difficult. Tinder Rose and Secret Blush is this last one. Tinder Rose, Secret Blush, Magic Hour, and Ash Rose. My heart is saying to wear Ash Rose, even though I don't know how well that's gonna work, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I know Magic Hour would be really pretty with it too, but it's just we're so close to fall that I'm like dying to get some mauve tones going on. So I'm gonna try this Ash Rose True Gloss. I kind of like this. I feel like the way that these like golden hour, like these orangey sunset sky tones ended up going with some of the mauve and then the orange from the cheeks. Like I feel like it's just a really cool contrast that kind of like seamlessly works together even though they're like so different. I don't know, I feel like we've done like a mauve orange look which I did not expect were two colors that could go together but then like it's kind of working especially with my shirt. I thought I had nothing going on but then I remember I do actually have one thing to do today I have to go to Starbucks because my husband and I are interviewing nannies for our daughter so I have to go meet a potential nanny so I don't want to look stupid I kind of like this but then I feel like I need some orange I'm gonna put on the magic hour 
just mix the two together and see if I like that better. Oh, I do. All in all, these influencers did not do a bad job. And wow, am I like so impressed with that dad gum concealer from One Size, Patrick Starr's brand. Like that turned out really well. And I'm so excited to see how it wears throughout the day. If you love full face of first impressions videos, I have an entire playlist. I also recently did a full face of M Cosmetics, Michelle Fawn's brand. Be sure to check those out. I hope to see you over there and in my next video. But until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.